so this is the bag for the 300D, which is very popular, very strong lamp. And now the 1200D. Whoosh. So it's quite big. Looks like a whole film set is inside this one. It's just a lamp. It was the 300D, and then it was the 600D, and X, and now 1200D Pro. This, this is just crazy powerful. We're gonna bring it to the forests in pitch black darkness and see what happens if we turn this on. Can we actually make daylight with this lamp in the forest? It's gonna be interesting. When you have a lamp that needs wheels on the bag, it's heavy. We need the biggest light stand we have at the office right now as well. I don't think just a C stand is enough. This is not the first time I use aperture lamps to fake daytime or moonlight. Back in 2015, I used the Lightstorm LS1S to create moonlight in a scene outside and also fake daytime inside during evening. I used the 300D for a horror movie, and in one of our previous episodes of Making a Film Company, we lit up a whole forest for an evening shoot with 300Ds and a 600X. And now, it's time for the almighty 1200D. Okay, 600X, we're gonna turn this on. And the reflector for the 1200D. Bowens mounts, hyper reflector. We also have a smaller one. This is the power supply for the 1200D. And nice design, settings, display. And you can mount this on, a, on the stand. I will show that later in the video. And you might ask, how are, we going to, how are we going to power the lamp in the forest? Because we're just going out in nowhere to film. The thing is that we're going to try to use our new EcoFlow Delta Pro battery which we installed in our van. If you've seen uh, one of the previous episodes of Making a Film Company, we built a film production van where we installed the Delta Pro battery. If you haven't seen the video we made about this one and the van, I'll add a card somewhere up here, or you can check out the description. We have 600X, 1200D, light stands, extension cords, the Panasonic GH6 actually, we have that with us. Last thing, Drew, DJI Mavic 3, Cineverse. So we are driving from Oslo, the main capital of Norway, and we're going to drive one hour north to find forests that are still covered with snow. I'll come back to why that's important for our test. The place also needed to be easily accessible by car, since that's where the battery is. And it had to be next to a hill with a forest down below so we could light the forest from above. So Morten ended up finding this random place. I just hope it's good enough for our test. It's here. Like this is supposed to go down here quite, quite a lot actually. This is just so absurd, you know, standing here and like, nowhere and we can't see anything it's like totally dark so actually i think we need to just put up 1200d to see anything when we turn on the lamp like every uh, all the night creatures wake up maybe like the beers that's been winter sleeping so then all the beers like it's summer and they come attacking us Is it, is it snow proof? Aperture says that it should be able to be standing out in like rain and stuff. Whoa. So last time we used this on the mountain shoot, we only had, we were replicating a, a night shot. So we had the lamps pretty low. At, so total, the five lamps was like 600 watts. But now we're gonna test it a bit more because this is gonna be, I know, up towards 2000 watts if you use the 600X as well. Okay. 
Ja. Vi vil sette den høyt, og så tenker jeg vi prøver å finne et sted. Actually, it looks like daytime down here. Here it looks like daytime. It's only the background which is too dark. The real challenge when trying to create daylight in a forest in a pitch black night is that the rest of the sky is black. And in daytime the sky would have been bright, so you have to avoid filming the sky. And since the sky would have been bright, the light would have been spread around the forest. So this is the reason why I wanted to shoot in a snowy forest. Using the snow in the trees as a reflector, bouncing the light around us, imitating light from the sky. But the biggest challenge we faced was that the lamp wasn't able to get high enough to hit all the trees. So the trees closest to the lamp blocked the light from hitting the background. So here we have the, the Bowens Mount Hyper Reflector. We have something called Narrow, which creates a really narrow but really strong light. Medium. So it creates a little bit uh, wider uh, light, and then wide. We used the widest reflector for the 1200D, but as you can see, the forest was still blocking too much of the light. If we had placed the lamp way higher, this would have been solved. But how high can we actually put the lamp and still get enough light on our subject? We're gonna test out how far we can go away from this uh, 1200D and still get a nice exposure. Now it's probably <laughs> You're just white. <laughs> I'm just white. So the thing is, it, it's completely black here. We're in the forest. It's pitch black. And uh, the only light source we have now is 1200D. As I said, I'm using the Panasonic GH6. And there's a feature on the camera called Dynamic Booster, which gives you more, like a one more stop of the dynamic range. And to use that, you have to film with ISO 2000 at least. So that's what we're doing now. How's the exposure, Matthias? Uh, it's a little bit bright on your face. Okay. I'm getting quite far away. I think we're getting close, close to a nice exposure on your face. I would say maybe. Maybe, maybe here? here? 120 or something. What we see here now is that we are 120 meters away and the exposure is quite good actually. So if we, let's say we were on the top of a mountain or a cliff and there's this forest a hundred meters below you then fill the whole forest with light. That I think if you're creating moonlight for example, yeah, it's better to have the lamp as far away as possible so you can create like parallel lines, shadows, so the shadows don't go like this. Yeah, maybe we'll do another test as well later if we find a cliff. <laughs> or just rent the lift. Ah. <laughs> That's not a bad mm. idea. <laughs> I we think uh, what is cool is that we are actually able to do this out of our car. Like on a battery. <laughs> I, I don't think many people have gotten this amount of power out of just like a, this size battery. Yeah, that's true. So now we have both the lamps on full power. At full blast, they are drawing 2000 watts. Um, so now it's at 33%, we've been filming for a while, and it has half an hour left, so one and a half hour had full blast on both the lamps. Yeah. So for this location, we had to use a second lamp to light up the background and make it more credible for our tests. So this is with just the 1200D, and this is with a 600X in the background. Since we ended up shooting in just a part of the forest, I think we can have done this with a 300D and a 120D in the background. You just have to figure out what you're going to make and then find a spot in the forest. You, you, like here we can't light, light up the whole forest, it's just too difficult because of all the trees that are standing in the way and stuff. So finding a spot like this and then see, okay, where's the character going to move and then put up the lamps accordingly to that. So now this is kind of the key light hitting me and the background is over there and we could do something here. So I, I could just improvise something and we'll see how it looks.
So it's daytime here in Norway and we have something special on this tree. Here we have a fuglekasse, as they say in Norwegian. This is made out of wood and screws. Det er bra det er dagtid i dag. Ja. Hvorfor har du på deg hodelykt egentlig? Det er jo midt på dagen, du. Ja, så er jeg. Hva er det morsomst med å drive med trær, da? Ja, lukter på dem. De lukter jo helt nydelig kjent på det, ja. Ja, shit. Mm. 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 Even though we failed to light up the whole forest, we had a lot of fun. And this is no doubt the most important thing in life. No matter how bright your lamp is, Nothing can bright up your life as much as playing around with good friends. So thanks for the reminder artist duo who commented this in our GH6 video from earlier this week. You know Aperture has been, they have been for a long time now, creating lamps. They had so many different products. I don't know if you remember on the channel, but we made a video about the wireless transmitter, the lens regain, you know, the speed booster with the focus to a thing on it. But then they just focused on making lamps. And this is the result, you know, creating one of the most powerful LED film lamps I know of with good CRI values, natural colors. So this was an experiment. We wanted to see what happens, you know. And when you go out, you shoot, you learn so much, you know. Comment below, you know, what, what do you think about this? What's, what's your ideas of lighting up a whole forest with powerful lamps? and try to think about, is it necessary to try to make daylight in the night? Uh, very often you don't need to do that, and, uh, uh, unless you <laughs> are gonna shoot the whole day and you need to shoot during the night, so. You know, I, I believe this lamp is good enough for most people. A lot of people have this lamp, so maybe you can find it used. So the 1200D is for special occasions. I, I believe it's maybe better for people to rent this when they need it. But the 300 d is something that we, I, we use a lot on different shoots. And they also came up with the 300 d Mark II, which you can check out. So, cool, this was fun to test out. We're gonna test it out more. So stay tuned and uh, ha det bra.